listen to this video, take 10 minutes out of your life, go look in the mirror, look yourself deep in the eyes, look at yourself and decide, are you a fucking loser? Because if you're a fucking loser, you can go read and watch a bunch of shit about motivation to try and convince yourself to do a little bit of work. Or are you a winner? Because if you're a winner, you don't give a fuck how you feel. Work needs doing and it must be done. My main message is to resist the slave mind. I say this right. all the time. Uh, to understand that every single thing you're being told has an agenda behind it or you wouldn't be told otherwise. To examine every strongly held belief you have and try and identify where it comes from and why you have it. I sit and argue with people, I discuss things with people and they so fervently believe a point. And I say, why do you believe that so much? Like, do you have personal experience? No, but I saw the news. Why, why do you believe? The news told you X and now you are desperate. You will sit here for hours arguing that point, necessarily for your benefit. The people who make the rules don't make the rules for the benefit of everybody. They make the rules for the benefit of the people who make the rules. Yeah. That's the game. So um, telling people to resist a slave mind and just be critically, critical thinkers, keep their brain open, pay attention to things, be perspicacious, that's the general theme. And it doesn't matter whether you're left, right, liberal, man, woman, etc. It's just think for yourself. That's the general. The people who believe that's risky are just stuck deep inside the matrix. Feeling depressed is real. Yeah. Depression as a disease, I do not subscribe to. The idea, I believe, that if you feel depressed, something is depressing you, and you should try your best to fix it, you should take control of your life and do your best to fix it. The idea, but they don't say that. They don't talk that. They say depression like it's this magic thing that comes out the sky and it gets in your brain, you're sad no matter what, and there's nothing you can do about it, and you need to only take pills. And I think that's a very bad way to look at the world, and that's a bad idea to subscribe to. And if you start to feel depressed, let's say your girl leaves you and you start to feel depressed, but you believe in the idea of depression, you're now gonna start diagnosing yourself as clinically depressed, yeah. self-hypnosing yourself, into, hypnotizing yourself into being clinically depressed. And, and it's amazing how you can speak things into existence. I cannot become depressed because I don't believe in it. The best option, the best thing to do is still to get up, be an adult, control your emotions, be stoic, and do the things you're supposed to do day after day. Laying in bed and doing nothing is never gonna be the best option. The best option is still to go to the gym, to work hard, to run your business, to be successful. So it doesn't matter, we're talking about the different positions on the chessboard, but if the rules of the game remain the same, regardless of the position you're still trying to win, you, you still have to do the same things. So does it even matter at this point? If you come along and say he's depressed because of X and he's depressed because of Y and he's depressed because of Z, and the answer to all of them is still the same thing, then I don't give a fuck why you're depressed. All I know, what I will say as a matter of fact, is this world is hyper competitive, especially as a man. Most men are walking through life and they don't realize that it's constant competition. Mm -hmm. I was driving here, even as I was driving here, I was looking out the window and I was looking at all these people just walking around. One of them had a fucking croissant. One of them was dressed like a dickhead because it's London. He thinks he's fucking looks cool. He's <laughs> a fucking moron. We've all seen them. Yep, moron. <laughs> Some of the dude just talking shit on the phone. Some other guy with headphones in waiting to be fucking murdered. Wouldn't even hear it coming. And all these NPCs, I'm just looking at them going, do they realize they're in endless constant competition? Every single pound they want, someone else wants. Every single girl they want, someone else wants. There are people like me out here. I will destroy, you could get all 30 of them in a room and I will sit by myself and absolutely annihilate them in any single metric. And they're just sitting there just fucking floundering and wandering through life, unaware of how competitive the world is. Well, and whinging how unfair and it is. And whinging how unfair it is. And this is my point. If the world is truly that competitive, you do not have time to be depressed because it's a non-competitive mind state. Mm. You could be depressed for X, Y, Z, whatever. I'm not depressed and I want the money you want and I want the girl you want and I want the status you want and the car you want and the house you want. And I'm gonna get it and you're fucking not. I, I truthfully believe that the universe is a very giving place. And I don't wanna sound, you know, airy fairy, but I truthfully believe that the universe is a giving place and that if you actually really want something, you can have it. How much you want, is how much you're prepared to sacrifice. So if you want half a million a year, you can definitely make that. And that level of stress you'll absorb for that money and the amount of uh, headache you'll go through, if that's the amount you're prepared to accept for a happy life, you'll have it. Do you, do you know think I mean? anyone can do that though? I think that you have to pre-decide, right? So even my level of wealth comes with enormous stress. Governments are after mm. me. Like mm. it, it, most people are not mentally prepared for the bullshit I go through. So the number one factor that's gonna decide how successful you are as a person is your ability to absorb stress, your stress level. The better you are at dealing with stress, the more problems you can fix, the more money you're gonna make. So you have to decide where on that scale, because you could just be homeless and have no stress. <laughs> you, could just, yeah, exactly. you, could just be, you could be a brokey and be on the dole and just, you know, I'm broke, but nothing really troubles me. So you have to decide on that level where you want, how much stress you can possibly absorb as a man. And then if you truly want that level, you're gonna get it. I believe any man can make anything they want depending. 
Any one of you here, I, I have no idea how much money you're making, but if you were to say, you know what, I'm throwing away my relationship, I'm throwing away my social life, I'm going ham, I'm going nuts, and oh, I don't care what they do to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make it. You'd make mm. a bunch of money, yes. but there's a bunch of garbage that comes with it. So you have to decide, right? Mm. I sit here as a billionaire and I sit and say, I will teach you how to make money online, anybody, 18 Modern Wealth Creation Methods, it's $49 a month and I will teach you. And people will sit there and I don't believe there's a person on the planet who pays attention, tries their best, is never lazy, is on time, works hard, has a mentor, and is giving it his all, who isn't rich. I don't believe it. I think that if you do all those things, you're rich. And if you don't have any money, you're missing one of those key elements. Now you can fool yourself and you can fool everyone else and you can pretend you're doing them, but if you're truly honest with yourself, am I finding people who are trying to teach me what I want to know and am I trying my best? And the answer is fucking no every time. So if you love your family mm. and you love your last name and you're proud of yourself, mm. then you have a duty to be massively monumentally successful to show homage to your ancestors. Mm. I find it amazing there are people out here today who are gonna sit and say, oh, I'm sad, I'm too depressed, I don't wanna work hard. There, do you understand that only 200 years ago there were peasants out working a field, starving, mm. surviving the Black Death, surviving the plague, struggling to exist just to reproduce so that 200 years later you can be the end of their bloodline for you to sit on your ass and do fucking nothing. Like, you're a fuck up. You're fucking up your entire bloodline of your entire ancestry. You owe these people things. You must, they went through hell for you to exist. You have a debt, you have a duty to pay. You have to be the best possible version of yourself. And the same to God. God loves people who try. God loves people who work hard. Mm. It's amazing if you try your very best all the time, what God will give you. Mm. It, he'll give it to you, anything you want. Mm. If you actually try, not, not convincing yourself you try, actually try, mm. they're different things. I don't believe in motivation as a concept. I believe in discipline and divine purpose. People who ask about motivation are basically saying, I don't feel like doing this. How do I feel like doing this? And the answer is, the true red pill is, you're never gonna feel like doing it all of the time. Sometimes you're not going to want to do it. it doesn't matter what it is. If I were to tell you to go fucking surfing or skateboarding or driving a Ferrari every day, there's gonna be days you wake up where you just don't feel like doing it, no matter how fun it is. That's life. But if you do not do it when you don't feel like doing it, you will never perform against a person who does it regardless of how they feel. You have to make a decision. Forget about the idea of motivation. Forget about the concept of it. Throw it away and decide who you are. And this is a genuine task for you all to complete. Go look in the mirror, look into your own eyes and decide, am I a fucking loser or am I a winner? Because if you're only gonna do what you feel like doing, you are a loser. That is the definition of a loser. A man who only feels, does what he feels like doing is going to lose against the people who perform regardless. If you lose, what are you? A fucking loser. I decided I was a winner and I knew what it took to win. To win, I have to perform day after day. So I decided I'm going to do this every day, regardless of how I feel. Some days I'll enjoy it. Some days I won't. Some days it'll be fun. Some days it won't. But I'm going to do it every single day to the best of my ability. I will not allow my emotional state to affect my actions. That's what winners do. Because let's say you're a professional fighter and you've agreed to fight on the 13th of July. That day comes around. You might feel like fighting. You might feel like kicking someone's ass. You might not feel like fighting. You might be a little bit sick, but it's the day the arena's booked. You have to fight. So you don't get to say, well, I don't feel like it now. You don't get to lose and tell people, well, I didn't feel like it on that day. You just have to do it. You have to be good enough on your worst day to beat your opponent on his best day. It might be your worst day. It might be his best day. You still have to fight. You still have to win. That's the game. So if people ask me about motivation, I make it very clear. I say, listen, motivation has nothing to do with any of this. This is about who you are. It's about your purpose, your divine purpose given to you, dictated by God. Are you the kind of person who lives a life worth living or are you a fucking loser? Now, watching this, there's gonna be some of you which fall into each category. You're not all winners. You're in the right place. But some of you are probably still lazy losers. That's the reality. 